All right. Welcome back to the class. All right, now today we're going to look at two important uh, equations for power series or for Taylor series. All right. Now, uh, last week we covered what is Taylor series, what is uh, Macaulay series. All right. Now, today we're going to look at two new equations that we see on the screen here. So one is for sine and one is for cos. Now, this one is will be available to you on the slides and uh, you can write somewhere on your notes. So if you need to process sine equation or Taylor series that give you uh, equation in sine inside the question, you see sine x times something means you need to use this one. Huh? So you can expand the equation x minus x power 3 divided by 3 proclamation mark plus x power 5 divided by 5 proclamation mark minus and so on. Okay, or you can use straight away use this equation to develop the above equation. Okay, you can use minus 1 bracket power n x 2n plus 1. Okay, x power 2n plus 1 divided by bracket of 2n plus 1 and a uh, proclamation mark for all the x value. So this one, we will, we will not go through the derivation steps, but if you're interested, you will be inside appendix in the Moodle. Okay, you can go and uh, look at the appendix in the Moodle. So on how we prove it on. So at this stage, we will straight away use the equation that I highlight with the two red box here. Okay, so if you if you see sine x, then you straight away use this equation and this equation for uh, to replace in the equation. Then this one also, if you see if you're seeing a uh, cos x in the question, you can use you can straight away use this equation to derive, or you can use this equation to represent the Taylor series that contain cos x. Okay, quite straightforward. So you need. You need this slide somewhere when you come to your test one or final exam. So this one is like uh, uh, your cheat sheet or your formula sheet to solve the question. Okay, quite straightforward for this one. Okay, so uh, for today class, um, this is a new thing for you. Huh? This is a new thing and you should put this one somewhere in your notes. Okay, important. Huh? But I don't expect you to to memorize all the process for the derivation. But uh, for today class, at least you know, there is a two new equation introduced to you when you need to solve sine x and cos x equation. Okay, and this one is for Taylor series uh, solution huh? or power series uh, question. Then we can okay, see uh, application of these two equations just now. So we look at example 25. So example 25 asks you to find Macaulay series for sine x. It asks you to find Macaulay series for sine x. Now you know that uh, the relationship between Taylor's and uh, Macaulay, right? So if you don't know, go back to the previous uh, lecture video and just previous uh, lecture video and to see the explanation between Taylor's and Macaulay. And I think this question I asked Nizam before. Uh, how you change Taylor series into Macaulay, right? So today we want to solve for sine x. We want to apply the equation that you see just now. And we need to prove that uh, represent sine x for all the x. So how do we solve this question? Uh, we start, uh, again, we, this format or this way of solving already standard already. So when it comes to Macaulay series or Taylor series to prove sine or x, a sine or cos or tangent, then you use these steps. First, you arrange your answer sheet into two columns. One side write something, uh, uh, left side write something, uh, right side write something. Okay. So later you'll see your data this side and data this side. You have two row of uh, two column of data later on. Eh? So how do you write? First, you copy. The equation asks you to solve what? So this question asks you to solve sine x. So you write in a function, your data is in function fx, function of sine x on the left column. 
Then the next column, the next column, you substitute. Okay, you substitute zero in the function. Okay, yeah, again, to solve this uh, question, actually quite easy. You prepare your answer in two columns on the left hand side and right hand side. On the left hand side, you write function sign something, or you, you follow the question. In this one, the question is sign x. So you write function bracket x equal to sign x because the question asks you to solve sign x. On the right hand side, you substitute zero in the equation. Okay, uh, Edmund, what is sign zero value equal to? Yes, Edmund, what is the answer if you if you uh, substitute x equal to zero? What is sign zero equal to, Edmund? Uh, zero. Zero, ah. Uh? So you substitute the value of uh, zero into x. Now the next steps, you start differentiating. Uh. First steps, you write two column, and you write function equal to what, and then you substitute zero. This is the first steps. So these steps give you one to two marks if the question asks you to solve for Macquarie series or Taylor series. So then you start differentiating. So when you start differentiating, you see you f, you have a comma there. S comma means you dy dx. Okay, you dy dx. Sine x, you differentiate sine x, what do you get? You get cos. Huh? You dy dx, sine x, you get cos x. And the differentiation of sine and cos, please go back to your max one uh, module, or you can open up your calculus textbook or advanced mathematics textbook on differentiation on trigonometry okay so there is a table for that or there's a there's a formula sheet for that when you want to differentiate so that one uh, is your homework huh? you need to find back all the notes and sine x if you differentiate one time you get cos x what do you think the next steps over here okay now you have two columns in the answer huh? First, you write function, and then you substitute zero. Then the second row, go to the left column. You differentiate one time, you get cos x. What do you, can you guess? What is the next steps, Nizam? Can you, can you guess what is the next steps in this column? What you need to write in this space? Nizam, can you guess? Can you guess? What is happened in this column, this space here? What should you write? Can you can you can you see the pattern? Yeah. F yeah. So what what should you write here? F bracket. Uh, F comma bracket. F one. comma bracket. Uh, the one will be equal to uh, one equal to uh, one again. Yeah. Okay, I'll repeat. Huh? You see, uh, there's a pattern here. The first steps you write function, then you substitute zero inside x. Then the next steps you differentiate. You differentiate sine x, you get cos x. Means you dy dx sine x, you get cos x. Just now what you substitute value, you follow. Mm -hmm. uh, so one. what do you get? F, F comma, then you substitute what value? One. Not one. What do you, what value you substitute just now? Zero. zero. So you follow lah. You follow zero. Then cos zero equal to what? Is that cost zero equal to one? So you continue to write. Okay, on uh, just for your hints, lah. On this side, on the right hand side, ah, uh, this side in your answer, all is zero. Uh. you substitute all is zero. Okay, then you get one answer. Okay, quite standard, huh? So you can you so you see the pattern, uh? First steps, how you get one mark for the first step? You write function, copy the question, function sine x. On the right hand side of your answer. 
you substitute zero in the function. So function zero, sine zero equal zero. Then the second steps, you differentiate one time. So th that's why you get function uh, f comma. F comma means uh, you differentiate one time. So you differentiate one time sine x, you get cos, and you follow the previous steps. You substitute zero in the f comma. Zero means cos x, uh, cos x, you substitute zero here, you get one. Then you repeat the, the steps. You differentiate one more time. So you that, that's why you see f double comma there. Double comma means you differentiate cos x. So you differentiate cos x, you get negative sine x. Now, these steps, okay, this step to this step, again, go back to your advanced mathematics, go back to your differentiation uh, chapter to see, yeah, there's a textbook tell you this one to this one. When you, when you, when you differentiate cos x, what do you get? When you differentiate cos x, you get negative sine x. Nizam, can you guess what value you substitute here? Again, zero. Yes. So f double f f comma comma zero. What you get? Nizam, when you substitute zero here, negative sine zero. What do you get? Zero. Zero, huh? So you substitute because sine sine zero equal to zero, negative zero, you still get zero. Can you try to guess what is the next line we're going to get, Edmund? You follow this 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 trend. What 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 will be the next steps? Edmund, can you guess? Negative cos x. No, no. What what should you write? In the oh. one, two, three, the fourth line. What should you write? F, comma, comma, comma. Okay. Bracket F. X mm. equal. Equal. So you substitute. Uh, you, you, you differentiate this one. What do you get? Negative cos. Okay. You get negative cos because you differentiate this one, and this one is differentiated third time. And Edmund, can you guess what what will happen here? What will happen in this space? What should you write? F comma comma comma. Okay, mm -hmm. zero. Mm -hmm. Equal. You have to what? substitute zero here. So cos zero equal what? Negative one. Okay, so cos zero equal one, but you have a negative in front, so negative one. So by seeing this one. Okay, this is a standard step. Huh? Here you have one, two, three, four, four marks already, three one, three marks here. You know how to write. The step is standard already. Every time you want to solve Macaulay series for sine or cos, standard procedure. Then you can do the fourth time if you want. You, know? you can repeat the same for the fourth time. So I'll just write, uh, you can see, Fourth, differentiate fourth time, I write f superscript four means, or you, or you can use a comma four time, la, but uh, I will use number to represent the uh, differentiation. So you differentiate co negative cos x, you get back uh, sine x. And again, you substitute, sorry, uh, this one, I should substitute zero here. In these slides, there's a typo error. So you should substitute zero here, you get negative. So same. This space, you, you continue. Uh, your function differentiate fourth time, you substitute zero equal zero. Okay, sine zero equal zero. So again, there's a typo error here, All right? So, can you see the pattern here on the differentiation uh, column on the left? You see cos x minus sine x minus cos x sine x. You can see cos repeating, but it become negative. Sine will become sine again, but the sim, uh, the, the, what you call, the, the in front positive negative also change. And, and here is more interesting, you see, one, zero, negative one, zero. So we can write, we can write the Macaulay series again, uh, 
Previously, we tell you what is McCollin series from Taylor series. When we want to build McCollin, uh, Taylor series into McCollin, we want to, when we want to do McCollin, what do you do? You substitute zero in the Taylor series. So then you get McCollin series. Again, explanation on McCollin. Please go back to the previous video uh, or in our previous uh, lecture video to, to when we explain about McCollin series. So you can write, you can write this one, McCollin series, actually you add this one, you take this one, plus this one, plus this one, plus this one, plus this one, but there's a progression not there lah. Because, uh, because of the McCorrin series pattern. So the first one, F0 plus F comma zero divided by one progression mark X and plus F double comma means you differentiate two times zero, two progression mark X square plus dot dot dot. This is a McCorrin series. Okay, again, if you're not sure what is McCorrin, go back to the previous video. Then you have all this value, right? You have all this value. You just substitute this one zero, this one one, one proclamation mark, you get one, one times x, you get x. This one, differentiate two times, zero, you get zero. So zero divided by something, get zero, and so on. So you write the sign formula just now that I show you before we start the class. There's a sign uh, equation that you can use. So sign x equal to x minus x power three, three proclamation mark plus five and so on. This is what you see on the screen just now. Okay, the formula that I put in the red box just now. Okay. So this is how you write, nah? This is how you write for McCorrin series. Let's go for another example. Just now we done for sine x. Now, what happened if you want to go for cos x? Remember the steps standard already? Now you change for cos x. So what you do again? you divide your answer sheet into left and right. And then I show you the example just now, left and right. On the left, you start with function and then copy the question. Then you substitute zero on the right hand side. Then you, then you differentiate, 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 differentiate. Then call out the McCollin series and substitute the value. Or another, this one is another uh, method that I can show you. We will use theorem number six that we discussed. Again, if you forget what is theorem six, go back to the PowerPoint slides. So, you know that cos x, you know that cos x equal to differentiation of sine x. So, what do you do? You just substitute the equation that you see uh, in the uh, PowerPoint slides just now. You substitute sine x with the green color formula. Okay, with the green color formula, you substitute green x. Okay, then you start differentiating. So what is the first value you get, Edmund? First value is x, right? Dx, you, x dx, what do you get? Edmund? Yes, sir. X, are uh, you dx? What do you get? Uh, zero. X dx zero. How do you do differentiation? Only when you get a full number or solid number, you differentiate, then you get zero. But now you have x. Y equal to x, dy dx equal to what? Or x power two, x x power two dy dx. You what you get? 
Edmund, you differentiate two x, uh, differentiate uh, x square. What do you get? Two x. Two x. Now you differentiate x. What do you get? One. One. Okay. So you do the same for the second one, third one. You will get one minus this one. You differentiate x, you get 3x, x power 2, you get this one. This one is the constant value. 3 procreation mark means 1 times 2 times 3. This one, 5 procreation mark means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. This one, you differentiate x power 5, you'll get 5x power 4 and so on. And you further further simplify this one to this one, you can cancel three and the three below. Because you know that three progression mark is one times two times three. So you can take out the three from above. That's why the second term from three x power two divided by three progression mark become two progression mark and x square. You follow the same, this one, 5x power 4 divided by 5 progression number. What does it mean? What does this mean? It means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So you can take out the 5 from the top and below. Then you get 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, also equal to 4 progression number. That's why you get 4 power x here. This is how you derive McCollin series for cos x. And you can write in this form. Okay, so how do you get this formula? Again, we already explained how to observe the the pattern of the equation of the series into equation. We already explained that before this. So you can see here if you observe the pattern, the first one positive, the second second one negative, the third number is positive and so on, we will use minus 1 power n because the first one is, okay, uh, because the first one, again, uh, in series, uh, now we are talking about series, power series, especially, we start with 0. So what? how do you get the first, first number? You power 0. You get 1. Although it's a negative, you still get positive. Then, how you get 1? x power 2 and the first number always 0 for power series. So 2, 0, x, 0, you still get 1. 2, n, this one, n is 0, 0 progression mark is 1. So 1 divided by 1, you still get 1. 1 times 1, you still get 1. That's why the first number is 1. And so on. You repeat the same for the second number. Again, Power series, second number, your n is not 2, uh, it's 1, uh, because you start with 0. Okay, the first number is 0. You start with n equal to 0 for the first number. Second number, you increase n to 1. So, second number, you use 1. 1 here. 1 here. That's why you do the calculation, you get the second number of x squared divided by 2 progression minimum. Take note on that. Huh? This will be the area, area of mistakes students done when they come to, they can do a normal series, but when it come to power series or Taylor series or McCurrin series, they forget that uh, power series start with zero. Take note on that. Huh? Take note on that. Okay. Okay, let me check attendance. Record start. Okay, All right. Okay, now example 27, I will let you as your homework. I will not go through, but the answer is there. Okay, example 27, it asks you to represent, uh, represent function x equal to sine x as a sum of Taylor series centered at this one. So the steps are there. Go through, huh? Uh, for your hints, this kind of question will come out in test one. Okay, I will not go through the same concept. Okay. 
Okay, the same concept is there. Example 28, also another example I will not go through as a homework. All the answer is in the slides. 28 also, okay, 28 I need to explain a little bit. Okay. I need to explain huh? because he's come up with the one important equation. All right, now let's go to example 28. The question asks you to find McCollin series for this function. K is a real number. Okay, it asks you to develop McCollin series. Again, go and revisit what is the definition of McCollin series. Huh? So this kind of question, always divide your answer into left and right, left and right column. Start with the first step, write the function, copy the question equation. You write function equal to the one that in your question, one plus x power k. The next one, Nizam, what is the next steps on the right hand column here? Nizam, what is the next steps over here for the right hand column? What do you do for this column? Change it into zero here. Huh? Change the f x into zero. X equal to zero, correct. So when you substitute x equal to zero, what do you get? What what should what should your answer write over here on this column? First line. What is your answer? Function. What? Function. Function bracket. Bracket. What? Zero. Zero equal. Equal. One. One plus. One plus one. One plus one. X is zero. Uh, X is one zero. X. So. Uh, one plus zero, one plus zero. What do you get? One plus one. x. So uh, one bracket a. Okay, one plus zero, you get one. Power k. Okay. Correct. Ah, yeah. uh, k is k is any value. So what do you get? One power k. What do you get? What is the result when you? Take one power k. Lisa? Yes, one sir. power k. What, what do you get? K is any value. So what do you get? You substitute k with any number as long as it's positive number or negative number also can. One. What do you get? You always equal to one. Yeah, one. Right. So f substitute zero, you get one. Edmund, you understand why you get one? Yes, sir. Okay. Edmund, what is the next steps? You still remember? What is the next steps? I think this one is your expert. Just now you answer already. What is the next steps on the left hand side of your answer? F comma bracket S. Hmm? Okay, equal what? What is the what is the what is the differentiation steps when you do x power k? Or oh, you forget it? Okay, I will not torture you. Lah, eh? So I will give you an answer, but as your homework, you have to revisit how to do differentiation of this kind of question. Eh? You get, you pull the k, because x power something, you always 
pull the K to the front. All right, K to the front, you get K bracket, continue, bracket X plus uh, 1 plus X, and your K is 1. Uh, K is uh, this one, the, the exponential, you get negative 1. See how you get, huh? Okay. Then, second one, you substitute, always substitute with 0, you'll get K. You substitute 0 in the X there. All right. So how you get k, you just substitute x equal to 0. So 1, k minus 1, and, and multiply by k, you always get k. Eh? Because 1 multiply uh, 1 power k minus 1, you always get 1. Times k, you get k. You repeat the same process for the third line, fourth line, third line, fourth line here. This one, multiply, uh, not multiply. Differentiation, differentiate one more time. You get this one. Again, I'm not going to teach you how to get this one. Huh? If you forget how to do differentiation of this kind of question, go back to your advanced mathematics. You already passed your max one already. So you should be able to do from here to here. So you get the second one. Again, this one is your final exam or test one kind of standard. Huh? Just get prepared. Your test one is coming. So get prepared. Huh? I already give you hints, the area going to come up, so I expect you to know how to answer. Again, substitute zero, you get k, k minus one. You substitute, uh, not substitute, differentiation one more time, you get this one, and you get this one, okay? Substitute zero again, apologize for typo error, you should substitute zero here, you'll get this answer. And you should see the pattern we convert into a general equation. So you can write F substitute N, uh, superscript N means you differentiate how many times, X, and then you look at the pattern here. Actually, you keep repeating the pattern here. You see K bracket K N, and then K minus N plus one and one plus X power K minus N. You will always add something in the middle but the behind will always repeat in this in this pattern. You can do one more time. Huh? You can do one more line for the fourth one and fifth one. You can repeat the same, but I uh, do not show in the slides here. Okay, as your homework, you differentiate fourth time and fifth time, you will see the pattern like this. Okay, you'll see pattern like this. Dot, dot, dot means there's lots of number in, in, in the middle. Okay, and then you differentiate Okay, you differentiate, you get this kind of equation. Okay, you differentiate, you get this kind of equation. Then you make a conclusion. Therefore, Macaulay series for this one, you can write as Fn, F power N zero divided by N apostrophe X power N equal to this set. Okay. So you observe the pattern you get here, then you give this conclusion. All right. This one, this one is important when you do your degree level um, final year subject. Um, this pattern we call it binomial series. At this moment, you just you just uh, remember that there is one pattern called binomial series, and it gives you this kind of pattern. Okay, this red, the whole red color, it means binomial series. Okay, remember. Huh? So this one is important when it comes to degree, diploma. You only need to identify when you see this kind of pattern. K bracket k minus one dot 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 means here always repeating. Lah. It here means the second number is k minus 2, k minus 3, k minus 4, and continue. And then the last number will be k minus n plus 1. Okay, So divided by n plus of e times x power n. This is a binomial series. So 
Again, uh, remember this is today you learn something new, you call a binomial series in this pattern. So uh, in the textbook, or when you come to degree level, when you need to solve binomial series, sometimes we will write in this form, okay, this bracket, this uh, uh, box, uh, this I highlight with the box here. It means binomial series, or you can write sometimes we just, uh, the formula is too, too big already. We just simply use bracket K and don't, don't misinterpret as a matrix. Huh? It just represent as a binomial series. This one equal to this one. Okay. So we can write binomial series as one plus K, because if we add all these series together, this recurrent series, we add all these number together, we can write as sum of K N, this is binomial series, X N, again, uh, this bracket K N equal to this formula. Huh? Or you can write, if you're hardworking, you can write the full set. It means the same thing. So today I introduce you the binomial series. I highlight with a box means this one is called binomial series. Alright. Highlight again. This pattern is called binomial series. So if you expand this formula, you will get this set of data. If you expand binomial series, the word series itself, binomial series, also under Taylor series, and you write in a Macaulay series. So you know that power series start with zero. Again, I highlight this area. The first number is zero. How you get zero? You just substitute the n is zero. So n zero, you get one. X power zero, get one. Zero, zero, progression minimum, you get one. And all the numbers here is zero, you'll get one in the bracket, k, k is a number, all right? So all the number divided by one times one, eventually you'll get the first number as one and so on. So this is a, bi a binomial series, huh? okay? Okay, example 29 is your homework, so I'm not going to go through uh, example 29, but is part of your homework. Eh? Go and see, study the pattern. Okay. Okay, maybe I help you a little bit for example 29. Okay. Uh, I think this one you as a homework, eh? we go to the next example. It's lots of step here, but again, example 29 will be your test one or final exam kind of question. Okay, especially can it asks you to find the radius of convergence. Okay. Next, we're going to learn about table one. This slide is important. Basically, this, this table one will help you to score some marks in the exam. Uh, I call this one as a cheat sheet uh, because it will help you a lot in your final exam and test one. You don't need to worry about how, how what is the equation that you will get. As long as you look at the question, you look at the far right, far, sorry, far left, huh? Sorry, uh, because I'm using green screen, everything is inverted. So far left, far left, if you see one over one over one over x equation in the in the question, straight away you use the first first equation to calculate. If you if in the question you see e power x, then you use a second equation. If you use if you see sine x, just now we explained about sine x and cos x. So if you have this table, you no longer need to remember what is the form. You just use this table one, 
to solve the question. You copy this one in your answer and solve. Okay, same with tangent. And again, uh, what is tangent x? What is tangent? Tangent equal to sine divided by cos or cos divided by sine. Nizam? Tangent is definition. Tangent equal to what divided by what? Edmund, check. Eh? Tangent definition. Tangent equal to sine divided by cos or cos divided by sine. Nizam? Nizam? What is the definition of tangent? By using sine and cos? Tangent. tangent equal to what divided by what? Sine divided by cos. Sine divided by cos. Edmund, what is your answer? Sine divided by cos. Confirm? Uh, yes. Okay. I will let that one as your homework. Eh? Just give you hints, this one also will come out in the test one or final exam. Okay, that's why in our example, we do not discuss about tangent x example. I just already give you hints. Huh? So, it's okay, you don't know the answer now, but I already give you hints, so you need to go and find out. Okay, so this is a very powerful table. Huh? It will help you to score marks. How we apply this table? I'll give you a one example. Find Macaulay series for function x equal to x cos x. So, by using table one, how you find and how you find this? This one is x times cos x, right? In this table, you see the cos x, right? Uh, so go to table one. Copy the whole set in your answer, you get one mark. Again, uh, table one is a lifesaver. Uh. You look at a question, you see something from first equation to last equation, choose carefully. Uh. This question asks you x times cos x, what do you do? You copy cos x equation in your answer, multiply this one with x. x cos x. Again, from table one, choose this set, copy this full set in your answer. You write in your answer. X cos X equal X dot means time. Eh? X time the equation in this table equal to minus one power N X power two N divided by two N. Okay, mark. Then, it will equal to this one. This one you need to build yourself. Uh, not build, but uh, rearrange this equation. You arrive at this one. When you time x, when you time the x inside here, you actually has x to n plus 1. Again, if you forget the exponential equation, when you multiply by x with the exponential, you forget, go back to the Mathematic one. Okay, under algebra chapter. Okay, so you transform table one information into a new data. You take x times this, this data, you get this one. Okay, there's an x there, x times x power n. Okay, x times x power 2n, you get x 2n plus 1. You should already understand why this one works. Huh? Any questions so far for these steps? Any question? Nizam, Edmund? No, sir. Okay, Edmund, good. Uh, Nizam, any question?
You okay, Nizam? Nizam okay, yeah? Okay. Again, uh, this is just a simple algebra uh, multiplication. Uh. You take x times x power 2n, you get this one. Uh. If you don't know, go and check your advanced mathematics uh, textbook. Next. Yeah. This one you score full mark already. Uh. If the question asks you to solve for McCurlin series, use table one. Multiply one of the equation, correct equation. You rearrange the equation, you get full point. Huh? This one, five marks. Huh? You copy the question. You look at table one. You write this one. This one, two marks. This one, maybe another two marks or three marks. Cost you five marks, four to five marks. By just using table one. Give you one more example. He asked you, find McCollin series for function x equal to ln 1 plus 3x power 2. I let you see the table first. Huh? Okay, remember the question asked you, ln 1 plus 3x power 2. Let me see if I put the table for you. Okay. Can you look which one that we should use? Nizam? Which one, which equation that we are looking for? Nizam, are you there? So looking at the question, the question asks you function equal to ln something. Which one that you choose from here? Which one? First one? Second one? Which one? The first one. Huh? The first one. Okay. Let's spend another half an hour to repeat the same concept. We introduce you table one. Uh, for YouTube, for those watching on YouTube, you can fast forward because I'm going to repeat the same content. Table one give you equation one. Equation 2, equation 3, equation 4, equation 5, equation 6, equation 7. This is a very convenient table. When you look at the question, you just choose accordingly. I repeat explaining question 13. Those watching on YouTube, you can fast forward. Question give you function x cos x. You look at the table. Question one, uh, equation one, equation two, equation three, equation four, equation five, equation six, equation seven. Question you're seeing x and cos x. Inside this seven equation here, you have one over one over x, you have e power x, you have sine x, cos x, ten uh, inverse x, ln one plus x, and one plus x power k. You look at the question, you have cos x, you choose one, two, three, four. You choose the fourth equation because this table gives you cos x answer. You choose cos x because the question asks you cos x. You copy this one inside your question, inside your answer. Cos x basically is x times this whole equation in table four. What you do? You x times this equation, you get this one. These steps will give you two marks, and the rest is just rearrangement of equation. You multiply x into this equation, you get x power 2n 
plus 1 because you multiple x to get this one. The rest doesn't change. Nizam, you understand example 13? 30? Yeah. Let's go into next example. Now, example 31. Function x equal to ln 1 plus 3 power 2. You have table, equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Which equation to use, Nizam? Equation 6. This one, right? Or this yeah. one? Mm, no, no. This yeah. one, huh? Okay, we choose this one. So, we choose this one. But you have to modify a little bit based on the pattern. What is different? 3 x power 2 but in the table you only have x so basically you replace all the equation inside here x with 3x power 2 this one is very easy to score marks huh? if you don't know to do this one then i cannot help you but you have to see me next semester okay sorry apologize i didn't do the transition for this one so basically you copy from the table one and you replace the one inside here, the x in the table one with three x. So what you do, you copy the equation, this one, as this one. You replace this one, the x as three power two x. The rest is the same. When you replace that one, the next step is just rearrange or um, simplify the equation. 3x, okay? 3, 3x power 2 bracket n basically is a two number. You can put 3 times x power 2. So you can write 3 power n times x 2n. You can write this one. To this one. Very direct, huh? This one in this form. The rest I didn't touch, huh? The rest still same. So basically, first steps you copy. Second steps you you copy table one into your answer. This one gives you one mark. This one you modify table one. Uh, answer with the question this one you get one mark you rearrange you get another marks one two three marks here basically it's a free mark minimum you get one mark if you copy the correct one then the rest you just put on the left hand side copy the question pull to the left equal to the answer that you develop from table one. Okay. Now from table one, the table one, the conversion value is one. Conversion value is one. So means that you X, go post X, huh? go post X less than one to get conversion. You modify it just now, x you replace with 3 power 2. So you replace go post x with 3 x power 2 less than 1. Yeah. Table 2, if you see r equal 1, means go post x less than 1 to get conversion. You just replace the x just now. In this table 1, it is using x, but the question asks you. 1 plus 3 x power 2. So this basically is x. So you just replace the goal post x with 3 x power 2 less than 1. Rearrange this one. You'll get goal post x because you pull out. You pull out the 3. You pull out the 3. You pull out the 3. You move to the right hand side. You get 1 over 3. You pull the exponential 2. You power 2. You remove the power 2. On the right hand side, you square root of 2. You will get 
1 over square root over 3. Or you can write the whole square root 1 over 3. Okay? Don't stop here in exam or test. This one you need to write in terms of x. Huh? So you move 3 to the right-hand side because it's a multiply. So move 3 to the right-hand side, you get 1 over 3. You move the power 2 to the right-hand side, it actually is a square root. That's why you get this one. Huh? It do not change the inequity here. Then you remove the goalpost. When you remove the goalpost, it means you have a negative and positive value of this one. Huh? So, or in other, another, um, in another meaning, when you get this one, you get goalpost x less than one value. It means this is your radius of convergence from your question, from your answer. This is radius of convergence one. If you use table one, but after you apply table one to the question, you arrive at your answer x goalpost less than 1 over square root of 3. So write this answer in this form. You write r equal to 1 over square root 3. This is how you solve example 31. Uh, we go for one more example. Uh, okay. Go very fast for example 32. So example 32. Okay. I think this one will be your homework. Basically, the steps still same. Look at the question, refer table one, compare side by side, look at the pattern that you have, choose wisely which one to go, right? Choose wisely, yeah. Uh, this one, yeah. Why? Because this one is given you the second second format, huh? it gives you the sum of something. Okay, the previous example give you the far left. This example give you the second, the in the middle one. So you need to look carefully table one. Sometimes give you a third format, which is the this side. Okay, this table have three three format. Huh? One, one is the far left, then the middle one, and then the third one. So you can compare side by side with the question. Again, first steps. You already have this table one. Second, look at the question compared to the table. Choose a similar pattern. Modify accordingly, and you get the answer. In this case, you identify one of the answer. You modify the question to the table one. You rearrange. Okay, you rearrange. So actually from here, you can see in the middle, you see it's x power n. But here, after you rearrange your equation, you get minus 2x power n. Inside the bracket is minus 2x. In the table is the standard uh, or general equation. You, you modify from here. Okay. So again, uh, first steps, you look at the question. Second, st second step, look at the table. Choose the correct one. Then you compare side by side. Look at the table one. What is the x? What, because after you arrange, you arrange the, the, the pattern to the table, you will see what is x compared to table. In this case, in table x, in table one, x, you only have x, but after you rearrange, you compare side by side, your x position, you will see that is equal to 2x minus 2x. So what you do next, you just replace what you see inside there. Because here, this equation uh, here in table 1 is e power x. So your answer will be e power negative 2x. This is the answer. Okay, quite easy. Yeah? The step is quite easy. The, the, the concept is quite easy. Look at the question. Look at the table. Choose the correct one rearrange into the pattern in the table, compare side by side what is your x in the table and your answer. For example, in this uh, example 32, x in the table 1 is x, but in your answer, 
is minus 2x. So you know that in table 1, e power x, so you replace the x to your answer as your answer is x is minus 2x. So you replace the e power x equal to e minus 2x. This one is the power series for this one. Okay, yeah? So basically the step is, is standard. Okay. So example 33, uh, I will let you go and uh, discover yourself. All the answer is there. All right. Again, still the same steps. Look at the question. And this one is the third form in the table. Huh? The table, you have three form. The far left, the middle one, and the, and the plus uh, equation. So this example 33 is the third form one. So you look at the question, compare table one, pull out the equation right in the answer sheet, put side by side, then you pull the equation out, replace the missing part, replace the x in the table one with your answer. If this one is one over two. Okay. So again, in table one, in table one, far left is ln one plus x, and you know that when you rearrange your answer, your x is one over two. So you just modify it. Lah. You like ln one plus one over two in the answer. In this table, the x one plus x, but after you rearrange, you get one over two here. Okay, because here is x. But after you rearrange, you get one over two. You just replace one over two in the x position, one plus one over two, you calculate, lah. one plus one over two is three over two. The answer is this one. Okay, answer is this one. You can write in three form again, far left, you can write in this form. This is the question. This one, after you look at table, you modify, you get this form. This is the function that we, we want you to solve, we want you to find. This one also you refer to the table. Okay, refer to table, refer to your answer. You find what is x, you replace, then you do calculation. Example 34, still the, still the same steps. Huh? I repeat, still the same procedure. First, look at the question. Second step, look at the table. In this one, it's an integration. It's an integration of e power mi mi minus x dx. So inside here, you see e x, right? In this one, you see e x. So you compare side by side, you modify accordingly. This one, this one x is positive, right? Positive. The second, uh, the second equation, uh, the, the second equation in the middle one, you see is a uh, x power n, right? But you compare side by side. Now your x is minus x, uh, minus x power two. Okay, minus x power two. All right, now how do you get, sorry, uh, before I go uh, too far, this is the integration, all right? Integration, when you solve this integration, you integrate e power negative x dx, you integrate this one, you get e negative x power two. Uh. This is after you do integration, you get back the function. This is the answer when you do integration. Huh? So you integrate e minus x dx, you get this one. Right? Again, this is covered in your engineering one. Okay, this one, when you do, do differentiation for uh, e, you get this one. Huh? All right. So after you do the integration, you get a function. You compare side by side, 
you get the second one, table one. You compare side by side in table one. Table one is x. You look at the far, far left, e power x, but your, your question or in your answer is e minus x power two. So you replace this component, you replace this component in the table. Okay. You replace th this component in a table. You just rewrite the equation accordingly. So you change the x in a table into minus x power 2. Okay, then, okay, this one, this one. So I pull the negative outside the sum. Okay, I pull outside. I pull the negative, negative x2 power n, I get negative 1 power n. I pull the negative inside the bracket outside. I pull this one, pull this one from here. I pull from inside to outside, I get this one. Minus x2 power n divided by n progression minimum. The next one is just substitution from zero to infinity. How you get the first one? You substitute zero in the equation, you get one. Again, first number, you don't need to think one because first number in a series or power series or in McCollin series, in Taylor series, you always get one. Okay. Then the second one. Second one in a power series, McCollin series or Taylor series, you replace with n equal one. So go here, n equal one, n equal one, n equal one, do the calculation, you get the second one. The third number, n equal two. So replace n equal two, n equal two, n equal two here. Do the calculation, you get the second number. Plus, what is the fourth number? Fourth number, you start from zero. Zero, one, two, three, n equal three for the fourth number. So n equal three here, n equal three here, n equal three here, you get this number. Example 14, then you continue to do. Lah. This is a, just a simplification. So for the, okay, since my, my finger only can reach uh, third one, I just explain. Lah. So the same, so you, you just uh, do the calculation. Minus x square bracket square, you get positive x square, uh, x power four. You get this one. And this one also same. Bracket minus x square, bracket power three, you get x power six. You get this one. All right, and so on. Eh? Example 34, as your homework, I will not go deep into that. Same procedure. 35, same procedure. This is extra information for you, or extra example for you. All right, always look at the question, Look at table one, choose the correct one, rewrite what is the x in this table, rewrite the equation, rearrange, you'll get the answer. Okay. All the steps are very detailed in my PowerPoint site. 30, um, 30, example 36, also same, but it involves multiplication and division by using table one. This one is more towards uh, final exam question. Okay, so again, the steps are inside there. Again, you can see, first step, look at the question, second step, do some arrangement and then compare table one and continue with the calculation. This is a combination between two. Okay, example 36, you need to refer to two. Sometimes in final exam three, okay. So in this one, it asks you to find e power x sine x. Basically, you combine, you combine this one and this one. Okay. The steps, you look at the PowerPoint slides. Okay. When you combine, you look at this one. e power x is this one. Bracket times the sine x is the whole thing. So you copy, bracket. And then you can do the multiplication, right? You can do the multiplication between bracket, right? One plus this one, one plus this one, one plus this one, 
one plus this one, and then the second one times the first one, second one times the second one, second one times the third one, third one times the first one, third one times the second one, third one times the third one, and so on. Okay. So this one is just a further steps. Huh? I just do one step for you in the PowerPoint slides. And continue. Okay. Example 30, 36 is very detailed steps I put in there. So again, 10x, I'm not going to explain. Again, I really give you some hints already. Move fast. Okay. Let's go for one more example. Then we go for, uh, then we end our session. Now, why do we learn about uh, uh, power series here? It will apply to physics. So in Einstein theory, we have this theory of special relativity given one equation here. M equal to M0 divided by square root of something, one plus V square of uh, C square here. M is the original mass, C is the speed of light. And the kinetic energy is given by this formula. K equal to mc power 2 minus m0 means initial mass or at the rest in this here, at the rest m0 and c square. So this is basically one of the uh, animation that I can find that related to this question. So the question, the question uh, asks you to show, to show that by using these two equations, you can arrive at one new equation called Newton uh, kinetic equation that you learn in your physics. K equal to one over two mv square. This is what you learn in kinetic uh, in physics class. All right. How do we prove that? First, copy the equation. Second equation, copy. You want to write this one, we substitute this one in this formula. Why? Because we are proving the K. We are proving the K equal to half M zero V square. We are given the M. We are given a second equation in the term of M. We want to put our equation in the M zero term. We substitute the first equation here. You get this one. Okay. Yeah. You substitute this whole equation inside here. You no longer see M in the equation, but later you'll see M0 in the whole equation. So basically, this is the second equation. You substitute with the first equation, you get this one. You factor this equation out. What is the same factor? M0, C squared m0 c square you factor m0 c square put outside far left you can get this one okay this one you factor this one you factor you get this one okay minus one you rearrange in the exponential format this one you write in this form square root okay one over square root something is minus one over two this one is in your exponential in algebra uh, chapter. You convert one over square root into exponential. Okay, minus one over two is one over square root. Then again, you compute as a binomial series. Look back at the previous slides that we teach, uh, that we mentioned just now, binomial series. Compare this equation with the binomial series. So again, if you can't remember, you just pull out table one to help you to solve. Basically, just as a summary or conclusion for chapter one, table one, it help you to solve lots of questions. So keep table one somewhere, right? In, in your notebook, you can print out, put it somewhere, and then it will help you to score some marks. You compare side by side this equation and this table. 
basically is the last one, last equation. If you see this one and this one, they have some similarity there. Okay, you see this one? One minus V square divided by C square. This basically is the X square in the pattern of X square. So this one is same as this one. Yeah, we choose the last one, a last equation in the table one because of the pattern. This one equal to that one. So you know that uh, we mentioned in table one, your x in the bracket is the same pattern as this one. This one also one minus x, but here x equal to v square divided by c square. So what you do, you copy table one, replace your x with this one. And you compare side by side. Basically, your k is 1 minus 2. You compare table 2 far left equation. You get you know that in table 1, there's a k value there. K value is minus 1 over 2. So you write, rewrite your new equation. 1 over x, 1 minus 2 equal to what? So you replace all the equation over this side, you have your k equal to minus 1 over 2. So the first one always 1. The second one kx, but you replace your k is as a 1 minus uh, 2. You get this one. Minus 1 over 2x. The third one also replace your k as minus 1 over 2. So that's why you get this one. Minus k 1 over 2. This one replaced with this one. You get minus 1 over 2 minus 1. The rest still same. 1 over 2 here. And again, x power 2 and so on. So you do a little bit of calculation. 1 plus this one. Bracket minus 1 over 2. You, you remove the bracket. You get minus 1 over 2 x. This one you do calculation. You get 3. Okay, You get 3 over 8 after you do calculation over here, right? Minus half, minus one, 1 1.5. 1.5, and this one is negative, huh? 1.5 times 0 0.5 divided by two progression minimum. What mean by two progression minimum is one times two. So basically it's two. This value divided by two, you get 3 over 8, x power 2, and so on. Okay, so this one equal to this one. So you can see, you can write your previous equation in this form. Okay, this whole thing, 1 minus v square over c bracket 1 over 2 will equal to this one. Again, all right. Then you replace back what is your x. Your x is minus v square over c square back into the equation. You get this one after you multiply. Minus, minus, you get positive. Positive v square divided by c square equal to this one. This one. 3 over 8 multiply negative v square divided by c square. Negative pull to the front. Sorry, sorry. Uh, before you pull, we are saved by this bracket power 2. Bracket power 2, negative gone, become positive. And v power 2, you get 4. c power 2, get 4. That's why you get v power 4, c power 4, and the sign is positive and so on. Okay, continue with this one. And remember, this is a full set. You remove the bracket. You remove the red bracket, this one. The blue color one minus the red color one. You can remove the one. Okay, this one minus the blue color one. And you only left out 1 over 2 v square c square plus 3 over 8 v power 4 c power 4 and so on. 
this is a very simple equation. Do you see you can you can further remove the equation? You can factor, you can factor the C out. C power two, C power four, you factor the C uh, one over one over C square outside there, you can remove the the C square outside the bracket. And the value after the second and the third one, this one's a very, very small number. Okay, very, very small number because C is a constant value. You multiply or you power something. This is a speed of light. It's very big number. So big number, you power four and then you divide with something with the big number. Actually, it's very, very small number. So we can we can ignore the term at the back here. So this equation will arrive at here and then you can cancel the C square. You arrive at 1K equal to 1 over 2 M0 V square. This is how we prove example 37. Okay, with this, we end our chapter one. I end recording.